Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? My name is Mike Brown, a.k.a. Review King MB, and I guess they all can't be winners. Now, can they? I was completely bored. Honestly, I was browsing through Netflix, and I was looking for something to watch, something new, something different, and what do you know? I see a film, 2020, which caught my attention, called Fatal Affair. This was written and directed by Peter Sullivan, and the plot. The plot is we see Neil Long, who plays Ellie. She's a married woman. She's kind of sort of bored with her husband and their relationship, and she runs into an old college friend, played by Omar Epps, David. The two of them go out for drinks. She lies about it, says she's with her girlfriend. The two of them are drinking and dancing, and things get hot and heavy. They, they make out. They're in the bathroom. They're about to have sex until she stops it. She says, I can't do it. She leaves. But Omar Epps can't take no for an answer. He becomes crazy and obsessive. Kind of stalks her a little bit, and then we're off to the races from there. Now, I at first, when I saw this trailer, right before I clicked play, I said to myself, is this a Tyler Perry movie? Am I going to find out that like he at least produced it or something? No, no. This movie, as you watch it, you realize that this isn't on the level of a Tyler Perry movie. And that's saying something, because I don't like Tyler Perry movies. I am always disappointed by Tyler Perry movies, but I will say this. At least Tyler Perry movies have life to it. At least Tyler Perry movies have some energy and the craziness, the, the insane levels that his movies go to. It's entertaining to watch on a certain level. This movie just felt just it felt like it was lacking something felt like it was lacking either the energy, the high stakes, the, the fear, the tension that they were trying to create, the acting too, I wasn't all that impressed with. Nia Long, I mean, she's fine in the role. I saw that she was one of the producers, so clearly she was a big part of wanting this movie to happen. Uh, look, she's, she's attractive. She's very attractive. I guess you can see why some dude would become obsessed with her, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I, I didn't get enough of her marriage. I didn't get enough of her and exactly why she was falling out of love with her husband or exactly why she would even stray in the first place. It just seemed like it was what it was. And then we quickly got into the whole stalking thing. Omar Epps, look, I mean, obviously he's a good actor. I've seen him be good in other things. But this movie, I don't know, I wasn't really buying him being this crazy obsessive stalker. I mean, sure, he might have had his moments here and there, a scene or two where I'm like, okay, I kind of see it. But for the most part, he just felt like a regular dude, at least just his acting-wise. Yes, writing, he is stalkerish. He is delusional, and he, and, and he won't take no for an answer. He is constantly thinking that there is some relationship that's not really there. So, yeah, writing-wise, it was all there. But I don't know, it just feel like he was right for that role. It felt like he probably would have been better as the husband. To be completely honest, some of the other cast, you have Stephen Bishop, who I guess is a former basketball player. He was the husband. I guess he was all right, but as far as a husband goes, he was clueless. I mean, I always will feel bad for the person who's getting cheated on because it's like, dude, you didn't do anything. You don't deserve this. And especially when crap hits the fan and, and Omar up starts like ugh, trying to kill people. You didn't deserve it the most out of anyone else. But it also felt like, dude, how do you not realize that your wife has stuff going on? She's always at the dinner table spacing out, thinking about what's going on. And he never gets the clue. He never is really there. It's like we have to spell it out to this dude to pay any sort of attention Maybe that's why she strayed, but even still, not the greatest excuse. Uh, Maya Stojan plays uh, the best friend, Courtney. And I thought her character was, I mean, acting, I guess, is fine, but her character was written 
so poor. She's Nia Long's best friend. Omar Epps starts to date her just to get closer to Nia Long and sort of manipulate her. And, and when Nia Long tries to tell her that, look, this guy's unstable, stay away from him, he's crazy, she instantly doesn't believe her. She instantly thinks that she's lying. She instantly thinks, no, he's a good man. He's told me the true story. And even she's like, I'm your best friend. You don't believe me at all? And she's like, no. <laughs> like, what? So it's like, well, when she does finally believe her, it's kind of too late. And at that point, you're like, well, F you. <laughs> I don't really care what the hell happens to you. And also, though, Omar Epps, like, he's dating this best friend to get to her. The best friend is just as attractive as Nia Long. I don't know why he doesn't just focus his attention on to the best friend now, you know? Well, just date her. I know he's obsessed with Nia Long. I know that they have history. It's been two decades or so where he's been obsessed with her and he's been wanting to be with her. Even his previous wife supposedly looked like her. Like, that's how bad it was. So, okay, fine, sure. But still, dude, you have a pretty nice chick right here, ready, waiting uh, overall, though, like I said, the tension wasn't really there. Most of this movie felt slow, and this build-up, you're kind of just waiting for things to happen. There are certain kills in this movie that happen off-screen, and so you just feel like, well, what, did I just watch this whole movie, and I don't even get to see the good parts? I don't even get to see the moments where people die? You see the aftermath of it? There was even a couple characters, one in particular, where like they were just in the background dead. And you get like a half a second of reaction to them dying, and then we just keep going. I'm like, what was the point of that? Especially if we're not going to see the character die. You have them dead just in the background, and you don't spend any time with that at all. Also, there's terrible editing in this movie. There's one, like many examples, but there's one... The most egregious of terrible editing is when Nia Long is running through her house. She's looking for Omar Epps. Uh, she already called the cop, so finally a cop shows up outside of the house. She sees the cop through the window. She goes outside to go meet with the cop, and the cop's already, he's had his throat cut. And this is in the trailer, so this isn't really a big spoiler. But in the editing, you see the cop... And, and, and he's, he's sitting up in the in the seat, in, in the driver's seat. And you see that he's dead, right? He's sitting there. And then they cut back to Nia Long, running up, cut back to the cop. And now his face is on the wheel, down. Cut back to Nia Long, cut back to the cop, and he's back upright. <laughs> like, I, I even rewound it twice. Partly because I couldn't believe how bad that was. But two, I laughed so hard at how bad that looked and how obvious that was. How the hell did that get through the final cut? I know why. Because this movie's so cheap, they probably didn't do too many more takes than that. Anyways, yeah, this movie... Look, I'm not going to go crazy and say that it's it's the, the worst of the worst. But it's definitely going to be probably and my worst of the year just because of the lack of movies we're getting. I'm gonna give this some old bullshit. Man, this some old bullshit. Anyways guys, let me know in the comments below if you two were bored as hell and you decided to watch Fatal Affair, what do you think of it? If you didn't see it, and if you're curious now, then tell me that too. And tell me if you decide to watch it. I'm sorry if you waste an hour and a half of your life. Thanks for watching, like, Comment, subscribe. Later.